All right. Good day, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Hang on, I got a, I got a chewing gum. Sorry about that. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of work, but up on my tower, my hook, my winch is caught on those, those um, support uh, beams that's on the uh, Roan 25. You know how it has a little zigzag? It's actually caught in it and it's hooked. So I gotta go to the top and unlatch it. So I got some safety harness and um, I'm not experienced, I'm just an amateur guy. In the Navy, uh, professionally, I used to climb the mast all the way to the tippy top on an aircraft carrier and it was very high. So back then we had, uh, there's a rail that goes up the mast and we call it a ball buster. We hook it onto there. So um, if you were to fall, it's gonna grab you. I don't know what they call it, a ball buster. Maybe it wraps around your balls, but anyways, um, that's a different story. It's overcast guys, a little bit of wind. Um, I'm here, I'm gonna record it, climb up the ladder. I got uh, two positioning wires or, or uh, lanyards. I'm gonna ru uh, run it around the, uh, well, one at a time. I'm gonna run the positioning wire around the Roan 25. So uh, here we go. Um, I'm not gonna carry the camera with me, but you'll see me climbing the tower. Um, all right, yeah, let's do this. Okay, if you look on the uh, second uh, horizontal support going down from the top, there's a hook and it's caught there. It's inside the hook and there's uh, no way I can uh, lower it and raise it because it's uh, pulling on the ringer. So I gotta go up there and uh, untangle it. And we'll, later on I'll think about what can I put around that hook so it won't catch itself again in the future when I lower and raise that hoist or the winch. It's my first time climbing my own tower. Safety inspection, this is, these are brand new. The bolts are in. I gotta go around this uh, hazer. Um, because this post is here, I'm gonna have to be on this side or this side, but I prefer this side on the climb. All right, so I got a, a coax here. So first thing you do is um, always work from one side. When I talk about work from one side, if you're gonna detach yourself, detach it from one side because if you keep detaching it from either side, one day you're not gonna be uh, connected to anything, you'll fall off. So like this, I'm gonna use my left side for detaching and let's see. I'm just gonna climb, free climb. See, I can go hands free like this as I climb. I think this is too tight. So I'm gonna have to loosen it up. All right, here we go. See, when that's there, I, I can I let go and it's, it's holding me. Um, so, I gotta go around this one. So again, un un untie yourself from the left side. I'm gonna go around this here. can't so this needs to be longer so I am still tied off okay I need to do this longer
Okay. I'm still tied off. Remember safety, always be tied off 100%. Alright, so this is a long one. I'm going to detach one. Shit, I'm glad I got two of these to go around it. Okay, so I don't like how this one is really too loose. So what I do is tighten that up and uh, yeah, I can let go. Again, I'm, I'm high. Uh, so I'm gonna go up. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> it's just really scary, you know? This, this one, I'm just making some adjustments right now. Yeah, this is too loose. I want to tighten it down. All right, so I got two. Okay, well, f all right, that's so. This is just a practice. Fuck, I gotta go down. The reason is, um, I forgot to release the brake a few moments later. While I was up there, I couldn't detach the uh, I couldn't, there was no slack, so I have to pull this brake here. <clears throat> all right. There you go. You give it some slack. Here we go again. Same old thing again.
Okay. Again, we're working, only working on my left side. Run it around, 100% tie off. All right, this is all I got. Take the left side. See, this is, doesn't reach. That's why I'm not gonna go that way. I'll go around this way for now. Just wanna get over this big chunk of hazer. Oh, okay. So I got some slack. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need somebody to hold that up. Ah, there you go. All right, it's off.
even though I can let go, shit, I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm fucking 100 feet up. All right, 100 percent tie off. Tell you what, it's windy up here. What I'm doing is I'm pulling the um, the uh, line or the uh, wire so it doesn't get tangled. I'm watching the hook. It's in the middle. So while that goes up, you'll hear the clicks of the safety safety mechanism. That click right there. So while I was up there, this hook, you see how, how wide it is, how it could grab it could be stuck into this support beam the horizontal cross section like this that's how it was stuck up there but it was totally closed i had to get some slack to get it off so um that's it um i'm just here for a short time at the qth so that bothered me how it was stuck up there for a week or so all the way to the top. That's about 32 feet up to the tippy top. All right, guys, cool beans. Uh, sorry, not so much progress. Uh, it just bothered me that it was stuck up there for a week or two. Um, only got two days off and uh, not enough time. It's gonna rain today. Um, doing some troubleshooting with uh, some of my uh, S software defined radios. I lost connectivity. So I'm troubleshooting right now. Right now I'm dead in the water. I can't get on. My Flex uh, 8600 is not transmitting fully uh, the 100 watts, so that's been trouble sh uh, shooting uh, in progress. Uh, made a contact with the Flex help desk, got a trouble ticket. Uh, so it's I'm waiting for them to come call me back. But, yeah, but anyway, this video that was a little bit of update. In this video, um, first time climbing the tower, uh, that's 32 feet tall, a little bit shaky. Um, got some new safety harness. I like it, love it. I want more of it. And uh, yeah, it's was, it was windy. Yeah, I tell you what, I was definitely scared up there. Um, kind of like with a death grip. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe. It's really free. It helps me out on my YouTube channel. My name is Darren, by the way, and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Till next video, 73s and have a great day.